Continuing to talk about that freezing drizzle, it's causing major problems on Central Texas roads this morning. Dozens of wrecks in the Austin area, including a 12 car accident up in Northwest Austin. Let's go a little bit further north to Williamson County. We've got Connie Watson, public information officer with Wilco. Connie, how are you doing? Good morning. I'm doing fine. Thanks. How are you? Sorry about the audio That's trouble okay. earlier. That's okay. Uh, so talk about the roads there. What are what are y'all seeing? Well, what we're seeing is that the elevated roadways and bridges are the ones that are getting some icing on them. We've had crews out all morning that have been treating those roadways along with tech stock crews, but everywhere from 183 in the Leander area over uh, the San Gabriel River to um, 45 at Mopac, the flyovers in that area to 130 and 79 in Hutto, we're seeing just um, that those elevated areas are having icing. We've had over 21 uh, weather related emergency responses uh, so far early this morning. Well, wow. are you all closing any off or are you just encouraging drivers to go around them or just take it slow when they get on them? Or we're uh, mostly uh, treating the roadways as we can. We're encouraging people to um, stay home if they can. And if they do have to travel, to certainly take it slowly and leave lots of room between themselves and the uh, cars around them so that they do have um, time if, they're, if they hit a little patch of ice. But really try to avoid those um, overpasses and bridges. That would be the best. Gotcha. Anything else going on like uh, downed trees or power outages or anything like that that you're hearing about in Williamson County? Not heard about those types of um, incidents. Uh, county offices are uh, going to open at 10 a.m. as well as our polling places are opening at 10 a.m. So we're hoping people just take it uh, easy this morning, stay in uh, while we still have these icy conditions out there, and then hopefully things will warm up a little bit and the roads will be safer to travel this afternoon. Yeah, some uh, school districts also closing in the Williamson County area, Georgetown ISD, uh, Leander is open, open all day. Um, anything else people need to know about, about closures? You, you mentioned the county there is on a two hour delay. Yes, um, I would say just to make sure they keep um, watching the news today. If there's any other updates, uh, we will certainly get those out. And uh, they can go to drivetexas.org for statewide road conditions. Um, it's just one of those days where you're better off staying home if you can. All right. Well, just to wrap us up, are you guys going to be uh, out all day monitoring the road conditions and, and resanding and things like that as the day goes on? Or? Exactly. We'll be monitoring the roads all day. We'll be treating them as necessary and uh, we'll be watching again uh, tomorrow morning. Gotcha. Connie Watson with Williamson County. Thank you so much. We appreciate you. You're welcome. Thank you.